What's going on, world? I am DJ Swaver, and this is another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. On today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at the Asics collab with Mita Sneakers on the Gel Light 3. This collab is called the Souvenir Jacket. Now, this is the second Souvenir Jacket that Asics and Mita Sneakers has came out with. The last one came out at the end of 2016 last year, and I guess this one is the 2017 rendition. The pictures that I saw of this sneaker on social media was super dope, but the one downfall about social media is that you can never really trust the pictures on there because everything is filtered these days. Sometimes a sneaker may look dope in pictures, but when you finally get it in hand, it's not as dope as it looked on social media. So we're going to take a look at these sneakers today, and I just pray that that's not the case with these sneakers. Speaking of social media, I feel like now is a pretty good time for me to kick a little knowledge, give my YouTube family a few tidbits when it comes to this resale market of sneakers. If you've been following me on social media, if you follow me on Instagram, or if you're friends with me on Facebook, you pretty much know that the last year, I've been going after old sneakers that released back in the day that I wasn't able to get my hands on. I've been going after pretty much all the runner heat that's been coming out in the last couple of years. Now, most people probably go on resale markets like Kixify, StockX, GoDap to get shoes that they weren't able to get when they released. Although those three and a few other like popular resale websites are avenues that a lot of people use, I'm pretty sure the main avenue people use to get older sneakers is through social media. I mean, let's be real. We're all on social media most of the day. So of course, it makes sense that the easiest way to get a pair of sneakers that you want is through social media. All you really gotta do is type in a certain hashtag, hit search, and then a million pictures of the sneaker that you probably want pops up. I guarantee about 90% of those pictures are people trying to sell that particular shoe. Now with all that being said, I'm telling my YouTube family, be very weary of buying sneakers from people on social media. I've seen so many people get scammed and ripped off through social media that it doesn't even make sense. It seems like that's the thing to do in today's society, just scam people out of their money. And it's not even just sneakers, it's makeup, it's clothes. Hell, it's even wigs. Social media is a scammer's paradise. If you're gonna buy shoes through social media, do your due diligence and research. Research could be as simple as going on their page and looking through all their damn pictures. I mean, go back to pictures from 2015 if you got to. Even if the pictures look legit, go in their comment section and read through all the comments. Oh, and I gotta tell you this. Just because somebody's page has a boatload of followers does not make them legit. A lot of these resellers be having like 40,000 followers. You'll go to one of their pictures and they'll only have like 10 likes. Suspect. Even though most of the time you pay through PayPal and you're protected, it's still just an inconvenience to get scammed you'll eventually get that money back but who wants to wait months for you to get your money back from PayPal most of the time if I buy a sneaker from somebody on social media I was likely referred to them by somebody that I know personally at some point we've all gotten gotten this sneaker game even if somebody says they haven't everybody has bought a fake sneaker at some point but the key is to be aware of the signs and avoid that shit if you can if you're looking for a shoe on social media and you go on their page and they have that shoe but something doesn't look right follow your gut because more likely your gut is telling you bruh do not buy that shit. If you follow your gut when it comes to this social media buying, I promise you, you'll never go wrong. But enough about all that. I'm gonna assume most of y'all already knew the stuff I was talking about, but if you didn't, I hope that tidbit of knowledge helps you out in the future. I know the real reason y'all came to this video was to see this dope sneaker, so without further ado, let's get to it. Now, I gotta correct myself. In the earlier part of the video, I said this was a collab between Asics and Mita Sneakers. Although that is true, you also have to add beams into the equation. So this is actually a Gel Light 3 collab between Asics, Mita Sneakers, and Beams. Like I said before, this is the second rendition of the Souvenir Jacket moniker that they're using on this collab for the Gel Light 3. If you don't know what the 2016 rendition looks like, I'll throw a picture of that up just so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Even though I went after that shoe, I mean, because it's an Asics collab, I really wasn't feeling that that black and neon green like I was this navy blue that I saw in pictures on social media. Now that I got the formal stuff and the backstory out the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the sneaker. And this is the souvenir jacket collab on the Gel Light 3 between Asics, Mita Sneakers, and Beams. The first thing I noticed about this sneaker is the material that is used. 
I don't quite know what it is. This is beautiful. What is that, velvet? Yeah, this is definitely velvet. One thing I will say is that the pictures I saw on social media of this shoe look like the sneaker in hand. The main feature to me of this sneaker is that toe box. You have that velvet velour material all over the toe box. Best believe when you take a step in this sneaker, it's gonna crease. But I can already tell it's not gonna be a crease that's gonna make the shoe look bad at all. Around the toe cap and area is a nice quality suede. You can even see the brush in this video. Going into the middle portion of the shoe, the Asics Tiger logo is made in that same quality suede that you see around your toe capping. Underneath the Asics logo, you have that same velvet velour material that you saw on your toe box. As with the 2016 rendition of the Souvenir jacket, the 2017 edition also has Japan stitched in the heel portion of the shoe. I'm not quite sure where Beams is. Somebody let me know down in the comment section, but I know for a fact that Mita Sneakers is in Japan. I'm gonna assume that's paying homage to the country that Mita Sneakers is in. You also have a navy blue midsole that matches the upper of this shoe. Something about having that navy blue color from the upper to the bottom sole of the shoe is a plus for me. Another nice touch I'm loving to this shoe is the bottom sole of the shoe. The translucent sole lets you see the artwork that they have inside of the sole of this sneaker. Another nice accent to this shoe that gives you that dope Japanese vibe. Another dope accent to the shoe that I just fell in love with is that tiger logo stitched over the suede in the heel portion of the shoe. It just adds another layer to the dope Japanese vibe of this sneaker. Going into the inside of the shoe, the Asics Tiger logo is in a nice white suede. Just adds a little pop and character to this sneaker. Underneath that white Tiger logo is the same velvet material that you have on your toe box. As I said before in a number of previous videos, when I get a collab, I wanna see the sneaker boutique that's doing the collabs branding all over that sneaker. Although Mita and Beams don't have their branding all over this sneaker, you do have Mita stitched in white on the split tongue of the sneaker. You also have Mita sneakers branding on the insole of the shoe. Never understood why people put branding on the insole of the shoe, but I don't know, somebody loves it. Just letting you know that this is a Mita sneakers collab. The sneaker also came with another pair of navy and white rope laces. I feel like the laces that came with the sneaker go better with the sneaker, just give it more of a cleaner look to the shoe. I feel like these navy and white laces might be doing a little bit too much. I may put them in, just see what they look like, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stick with these flat navy laces that came inside the sneaker. The left sneaker completely mirrors the right sneaker, so I'm not gonna repeat myself and sound redundant. I really just wanted to show y'all that on the left sneaker, you have beam stitched on the split tongue in the same place that you had Mita stitched on the right foot. You also had the beams branding on the insole of the left sneaker in the same place that you had the Mita branding on the insole of the right sneaker. And for the most part, that sums up this collab. The way they were able to mix the velvet material with the suede material on this sneaker make this shoe super dope in my opinion. It's one of those sneakers that's super simple, but at the same time, it's gonna turn a lot of heads when you walk by people. On a scale of one to 10, I'm giving this sneaker an easy eight mainly because I'm biased towards the color navy. Clearly, I like the color navy, and this sneaker is no different. With how well this sneaker was put together and the execution, there was no way I could go anywhere below an eight on this shoe. I may be giving this sneaker an eight, but I wanna know what y'all think about this sneaker. Did you get your hands on a pair? Did you not get a pair? Let me know down in the comment section your opinion about this sneaker. The sneaker released this past Saturday, October 7th, for $150, but if you didn't get your hands on a pair of these on release day, you're pretty much shit out of luck. These sold out pretty fast everywhere from what I saw. And the only place you're gonna be able to get them now is on the resale market. The bad thing about that is, I'm seeing these sneakers going for like 300 plus on the resale market. I know in my size 13, people were trying to sell these for like 350 plus. Would I pay $350 for this shoe or any Asics for that matter? Hell nah. But if you got $300 that you can just play with and throw around, you might as well go on the resale market and get you a pair. This sneaker is dope in hand and I know it's gonna look dope on my foot. And this is the Asics collab with Mita sneakers and beams on the Gel Light 3, the second rendition of the Souvenir Jacket.
Y'all already know the routine. If you haven't already, smash that thumbs up button, smash that like button for me. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And when you subscribe, be sure to hit that little bell button next to the subscribe button so when I post something on YouTube, you get it first. Once again, I am DJ Swaver. This was another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. And until next time, peace.